All right guys, coming at you with a new video. I'm gonna install one of these new inline watt meters. This here is a 150 amp Goo URC. And this is for my 18650 lithium solar power generator. And it's gonna go in between the buck converter and my 12 volt bus system. Now, if you're seeing this generator for the first time, be sure to check out my previous video on how I built this solar lithium generator. Here's a closer look at the watt meter going to open it up here and they're pretty standard about $15 on Amazon I'll be sure to put a link in the description below for this watt meter there's just an input and output on it the source is coming from the buck converter the 12 volt and then the loads going to the 12 volt system inside the 18650 generator now I have used these meters before I installed one on my previous generator I built about three years ago and this is in line between the solar charge controller and the output of the solar charge controller which is a 12 volt accessory here and just measures uh, wattage amperage and voltage on whatever you're drawing out of that output now i've gone ahead and soldered on some xt60 connectors to both the source and load wires for this watt meter this will just seamlessly connect between my buck converter and 12 volt bus system so adding and removing the watt meter at any time will be very easy to do all right, so I've got everything plugged in here. Let's take a closer look. The watt meter is sitting right next to the buck converter. It's again in between the buck converter and 12 volt system. And I have to say, I kind of like the location of it. It fits perfectly where it is in the generator there. So let's turn some lights off here and take a look. I've turned on the master switch for the generator and now power is flowing from the buck converter through the inline meter to the 12 volt system here. And let's go ahead and put some load on it. Gonna go ahead here and plug in my phone. I'm actually making this video with my iPhone 6S. I'm gonna show you here, power output. Now the lighting's not very good, but let's go ahead and take a closer look here at the uh, meter when I zoom in. And you can see the phone is just pulling over six watts in almost a half of an amp of power. Now I've gone ahead and turned some lights back on in the room so we can see the watt meter a little better. So let's go ahead now and plug in a larger load. I got a new car charger for my DJI Mavic. This is uh, way better than the stock one that comes from DJI. And uh, this should work pretty well and be a good test for this uh, inline meter. Now this inline watt meter is going to help me set the current for the buck converter. Currently I have the voltage set because I can see the numbers off the USB on the solar generator, but the current I can't see. So when I hook up a large load like this Mavic battery, I can go ahead and set the uh, current. Right now it's too low and you can see that uh, the buck converter is just not providing enough power. But right now I'm going ahead and turning up the constant current on this little pot and I'm setting it high enough by turning it uh, clockwise to add more amperage and set a higher limit for this buck converter. But now you can see that uh, current is freely flowing here, just about six amps of power being drawn from the Mavic battery. Everything's working perfectly and uh, very happy that this uh, inline watt meter is helping out and uh, giving some visual data for the power from the buck converter. All right guys, I'm gonna close up the video here. Nice little add-on for my 18650 lithium solar power generator here. Not sure why I didn't add this before, I just didn't think of it, but uh, nice add-on as I said before. Thanks for watching guys. Check out my other videos, please subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.